Kirkham of Kirkham Motorsports. Kirkham builds a very fine, arguably the finest, reproduction Shelby Cobra on the market. There are many, many Shelby Cobras on the market that are all reproductions. The originals were made in the 1960s. But Kirkham builds one that is so darn nice that most people would agree that it's hands and fists better than the original Cobras. Much, much better quality in terms of construction while being nut and bolt exactly the same as the original Cobras. So let's check that out. Oh, you may have also noticed that I'm uh, I'm suffering a bit from one of the occupational hazards of retirement, uh, a rather severe sunburn on my face. That's from uh, spending yesterday at an open-air car show, but uh, <laughs> it was worth it. It was a really good car show. Oh, and yes, yes, I know, SPF 27 or whatever, but it's always nice to remember those things after the fact, not before. Kirkham reproduces all of the original Cobra models, and they do it with actual aluminum bodies. All of the other Cobras on the market have fiberglass bodies. Aluminum is very difficult to work with, but it makes the cars incredibly lightweight. The original Cobras were also made with aluminum bodies, and this might have been, at least in part, a factor in their success at the racetrack. And boy, were they successful. Shelby was tearing up international racing back in the 60s with the Cobra. The original cars were hammered over wood bucks with aluminum sheets and hammers. No mean feat, I'll tell you. But Kirkham has a, well, they have a rather diabolical system for building these aluminum cars. They let somebody else do it for them. They're actually built in an old MiG fighter plane factory in Poland. Go figure. Let's let David Kirkham explain the whole process and how they came upon the idea to have them built in a MiG factory. Kirkham Motorsports was founded in 1994. And so we've been around uh, coming up on 15 years now. Um, here in the background, it's kind of interesting. There's a, a car on its way to uh, Switzerland. That's kind of the first polished one right there. Um, actually, he's uh, gonna then take it and go to the Ukraine with it. The one behind that is on its way to Germany. One of the, uh, one of the directors of Daimler is uh, in charge of that. Uh, we've got one here from uh, a prince in Saudi Arabia. Have one, we just sold one to a prince, believe it or not, in Denmark. Sold another one president of the world's largest uh, uh, pet food company. Larry Ellison, the CEO of Oracle, uh, another multi-billion dollar company, uh, owns one of our cars, the Billet Chassis. It's a custom vehicle that we're making for him. Um, so they, and, and we have absolutely normal guys that buy our cars too. They save up their money and they come and they, they buy a car and get the coolest thing they can imagine and that's what they dream about ever since they've been in high school. So, and we're here to make their dreams come true. Well, my uh, brother-in-law, he bought a MiG from this fighter factory in Poland because the wall had just come down. And he needed some work done. I knew we worked in aluminum. He knew we'd bent tubes and all that stuff. He said, hey, come look at my, uh, come look at my MiG and see if you can fix the nose cone on it. And so uh, it was down here at the hangar, local hangar. Drove down to the airport, looked at the hangar. It's kind of funny because I, I was there with my brother. And, and we kind of looked at it. And, and, and he had the nose cone off set to the side. And um, he wanted us to look at that, but as soon as we got there, we didn't even look at his nose cone. We just started looking at the airplane, and the airplane's made out of tubes, three-dimensional tubes with aluminum skin that stretched and formed that's riveted onto the tubes. That's exactly how a Cobra's built. That's exactly how the old uh, Maserati bird cages, the old Ferraris, that, I mean, that's construction for airplanes and automobiles for many, many, many decades. My brother looked at the data tag on the airplane, found out where it was made. It was made in Pesetel Mielitz. And um, we, we hurried and we came home and he had a book, Jane's All the World's Aircraft. It's a spy manual. 
And so he looked it up, PZL, Pezetel is how you say it in Polish, PZL Mielec. And um, sure enough, there was the phone number. And I said, hey, can you guys build an aluminum bodied sports car? And they, they faxed back and said, sure, yeah, no problem. Shelby American is actually doing the Cobra again, and they're doing it with a fiberglass body, just like everybody else does. But you can buy a Shelby Cobra with an aluminum body if you ask really, really nice. Rumor has it, though, that if you get a Shelby with an aluminum body, you're actually getting a Kirkham car. We are, the terms are that if they want to buy a car from us, they buy a car from us. So almost all, and I think today all, but I'm not sure, of their aluminum body cars that they make, they buy their frames and bodies from us. They don't really, they buy a few other parts, differentials and a couple things, but not much. And so really any, or most I should say, any aluminum Shelby you see running around, the frame and body we made it. Our cars are literally the best aluminum cars that have ever been made in the entire history of the world. Because we take our cars, we polish them, and they're, they're mirror finished. And no one else has ever been able to do that. So we, we, we make nice stuff. So there you have it, Kirkham Motorsports and the Kirkham 427 Cobra. They also make, as you may have noticed, a reproduction Daytona Coupe and even a 427 Super Coupe. So they uh, reproduce all of the original Cobras, and I think they do a better job than Shelby American. Shelby American is back in the business of making Cobras. They've been making Shelby Mustangs for quite some time. But now they've re-released the Cobra, and they call it the Cobra Continuation. So it's still a 1960s vintage Cobra, only just like the Kirkham, it's brand new modern car, just bolt and not exactly the same as the old original 60s cars. And as I recall, licensable as a 60s car. At any rate, you look for them on the web. Look for me on the web, theguyshobbyshop.com. Remember, that's theguyshobbyshop.com. Look for me on Vimeo. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like me on Facebook, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm not sure how you found this particular movie on the Internet, but I sure hope you didn't find it boring. And I'll see you here again next week.